Hey guys, I've been trying all day to get some kind of video for you. This is actually a callback. It's the house with all the dogs. I just recently did a condenser fan motor here and they said it's not cooling. Let's hope the rain holds out and we can get a video. Stay tuned. I can hear the blower, but I didn't hear it come on. Let's see what it is this time. dogs calm down a little bit. Just pulled lock rotor amps. Y'all can see that right there. I actually did not hear it, probably because of the dogs, but um, let's check that capacitor. Put this where y'all can see it. Y'all see that? I got, I got no power and it just did that. Everything's plugged up. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm reading 11 mega ohms to ground. Look at that. Now it's running. Hmm. Let's check pressures while we're here. See if that rises any. It is kind of cool out here. Y'all, please, please forgive all these dogs. That's where my pressures are. It is a little bit cool. 
But I'm wanting, I'm wanting to see that coil in a long time since I've seen it and um, a lot of things can happen in a period of a few months. It actually looks pretty good. I think it's leaking. I've had to add refrigerant to this in the past. I believe it's 422 and I don't I don't have any of that with me. But that coal is good. Pack up. All right, there's no way I can charge for a call like that. That's just probably my fault anyway, that wire coming off the contactor. Because I was just, I just wired up a condenser fan motor there. So um, just one of those things. But it did show why you need to discharge a capacitor before you check it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, how about like and subscribe? And I'll catch you on the next one.